Hey, good morning, everybody. How you doing? It's Dave. Welcome back to my channel and happy freaking Valentine's Day. You know, I was just reminiscing. Remember, remember when you were, I don't know when it started for all of you. I mean, I remember it, was, it may have even been kindergarten when you had nap time and you had those little mats you rolled out. And, you know, sometimes you were fortunate enough to get to lay down next to the cute girl and then all of a sudden it's Valentine's Day and you do something like this you know be my Valentine and then you're afraid to freaking hand it to her so I don't know if I still have this talent you know you, you guys we were all chickens we're all talk you know but then on Valentine's Day we get we get all like <gasps> Ooh, what are we going to do? Oh, what if she doesn't like me? And the, I'm sure the girls were feeling the same way. I mean, what the hell? I didn't really discuss that at such a young age. But then you had to do these things like, okay, maybe I won't hand it to her, but maybe I'll just like <whistles> send her my a super duper airplane and maybe she'll open it and then you go forward you know 10 15 years it starts costing you more and more money you know oh i gotta get candy oh i gotta get roses oh i gotta get freaking jewelry they ruined the whole thing they made valentine's day a commercial thing it was so much sweeter and cuter than even even though you know you had no clue what love whiz, whiz is when you're five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen probably until you're 40 for crying out loud but it was so much simpler and cuter then it didn't set you back big bucks it didn't drive you crazy but here's a here's some bright news everybody that's out there if you're fortunate enough to be with an old hat, I mean, a beautiful woman like I've been with for, oh man, I'm 41 years, it gets to a point where they don't want that shit anymore. You know, I always tell my lovely bride, Debbie, being married to me, it's like Christmas 365 days a year. I've never told her no. Anytime she wanted anything, I've never actually told her no. But about three years ago, maybe four years ago, she was all tired. Don't spend that money. They rip you off on roses. You know, they jacked the price just in time for Valentine's Day. They raised a freaking Hallmark card, $7.55. You know, she is a sweetheart. She's like, I don't want that crap. I don't want you to take me out to dinner. You know, who wants to sit on top of a bunch of people? when they never go out to dinner any, the rest of the time of the year, you know, they gotta go out on Valentine's Day, give me a break. So it's beautiful now. So I'm thinking, maybe I'm just gonna write her a little note like that. And when she's watching TV, like a <whistles> No, my luck, it'll go like doink, and she'd be like, you jackass, what the hell are you doing? But my point is, everybody out there, have a happy Valentine's Day. Don't turn it into this big materialistic bullshit day. Just tell the ones you love you love them and happy Valentine's Day. So that's it for today. Have a great day, great night. Whenever the hell you're watching this, be well, stay safe, and hopefully I get to see you all again real soon. Peace out.